First major you've done been the super? Yes. What the experience been like? I mean, I I don't want to downplay it, but I mean, working in Marion is pretty special every day. I mean, I still, you know, I've come in this driveway every day for 11 years, and it's still, I, there's most mornings when I come in here, I can't believe I'm coming in here. Still come in at like 4 or 5 in the morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's, uh, I mean, it's not that I don't realize we're having it, but I mean, it's just been so much fun getting here and, uh, and I mean I'm really excited I, I mean I really want to have a great championship for the members the members are just the best and I've worked for a lot of clubs so you know I have and I've worked for some great memberships but by far these are the best I mean they're genuinely give back to the game of golf you know I mean when you have a championship and four-fifths of your members volunteer to participate that's a that's a pretty incredible statistic What do you think the winning score will be? It's funny, Mark Sheffick, who you know, I'm sure, he said 12 under. I said, no way. You don't have to rain for it to be 12 under. I'm thinking six. Six under. Really? I even think that'd be awesome. I think everybody wins. And that would be low. That would be, I mean, the rough will be the primary defense of the course. I oh, presume. no, the greens. The greens? And I think the bunkers. I think what will happen is, you know, once one or one or two guys, you know, one, or one or two times during the course of their practice rounds, they're getting those faces. You can't. There'll be lots of lives where they can't advance it. And they'll, they'll complain. They'll say these are unfair. They're freaking hazards. You know, those guys will aim at sand if they feel like they have no other option because they're so good out of the sand. But man, they get trapped in one of those faces, and I'm telling you, they could lose their ball. Do you think this thing is going to favor a short hitter, a long hitter? A shot maker? I mean, I would have to think a shot maker, but certainly somebody's, I mean, I don't even know if they'll have a driver in the bag. I think they'll have four wedges. So it's somebody's really got tremendous control 150 yards in. That's where it'd be one of lost. And plots. Like what I was trying when I was fumbling around for a word out there when I said everybody wants a homogenous rough where it's all the same. Mike Davis says his the best rough in the world is Miriam because of its inconsistencies. And what is it? It's everything. It's uh, it's everything. It's uh, zoysia, Bermuda, bank grass. It's fescue. It's bluegrass. It's it's just um, it's just every kind of grass in the world. That K thirty one, which is a rough stock bluegrass, old fashioned. Stuff. How are you going to grow it for another? How many weeks? I mean, how, how long will it be fully open? What's really cool about this grass is it actually gets most effective when it's left to go natural. So what he'll do, I'm thinking, is when you cut all the grass at three inches, it's just like a haircut, you know, everything's uniform. But if you let the grasses grow, like the bent grass is prostate, prostrate, so it'll stay low. But, you know, turf-type tall fescue might grow higher. The K31 will take off and it'll outgrow everything. So when you're out there and you're looking at it, like some people be embarrassed to call it their rough mm -hmm. because it'll look like, what is that? But, you know, when you're playing golf and you hit a pit in a rough, oh, man, that's the worst because you can't really get your club on the ball very good because it's nestled in a bird's nest. <laughs> so we have those too. And we have weeds. So, like, I'm thinking tigers never played out of clover. And, and how Cabrera may have, but you know what? I mean, if you've like I grew up in the old days, you know, you just man hitting out of clover is like hitting out of a box of rope. So it'd be fun. Like I could, I just can't wait to. This is going to be in print. I know when I say this, I'll be freaking delivering <laughs> your magazine. But like, I can't wait till like somebody says, zooms in and says, "What kind of grass is that?" So we said, ah, boy, that might be clover. <laughs> and every superintendent in America would be appalled, like, oh, my goodness, I'd be so embarrassed if that was my golf course. But that's the way golf's meant to be played. But he hasn't determined, you know. He, Mr. Davis will he'll make his mind up at, you know, a couple times. He even might change his mind during a practice round. So there are things he has not decided even now. 
he has a good mental picture of what he wants, but and he's given us some really firm directives in certain things, but there's other things where he's really pretty ambiguous, which I think he'll make his mind up when he starts watching golf. Plus, he doesn't have a clue what the weather's going to be like. Yeah. You know, I think if the weather's... You know, I'm not... I'm putting words in his mouth, but I, I've been around him a lot, and I've watched him set up for two championships here, so I'm thinking, like, if the Greens would get receptive, i got to believe it'll be... I just absolutely misery if he get in the rough. I think he'll be a lot less concerned about the height of cut in their rough if the greens get receptive.